Welcome back to Content Supply. Today, we're gonna to talk about why your personal story matters as an entrepreneur. The problem that we experience as entrepreneurs is that we feel like our personal stories don't really matter in our business or that we are afraid to share that very really personal side of ourselves because it shows that we're maybe too transparent or too vulnerable. And a lot of us have very difficult backgrounds. You know, we come from a place where it wasn't all sunshine and roses. You know, we weren't always successful or we didn't always have the best family life, professional life, and we've had a lot of hardship along the way. And I think it's not necessarily running from those difficulties and that conflict, but embracing it and learning how to use all of those aspects from the skeletons to the successes and how we can embrace those parts of our story to leverage it into how we sell better in our business. It's really hard because there are a lot of stories out there that talk about, well, I was broke on my parents' couch and that's when I figured out how to start this certain business, X, Y, Z, and now I'm a millionaire. Those stories, although yes, they are probably true for a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of you watching, where you have been broke and you had to figure out what to make work in your story, in your business. But I feel like that lacks uniqueness and originality. Throughout this video and throughout what we talk about here at Content Supply is how to identify your very unique and different stories so you're not just another face in the crowd. So let me tell you my own personal story of what led me right here and where I am today. I grew up in a small town, a small suburb of Seattle, Washington, and I'm the youngest of four. And being the youngest of four, I feel like I had a lot of insecurities. So I actually had a massive stuttering problem. I had a massive speech problem growing up. And I would go to speech class just to learn how to not stutter. It's really funny because one of my friends, uh, he also stuttered. And so we <laughs> would have stuttering conversations with each other. We would have problems getting words out, saying what we wanted to say. I found it really hard when I was young to make a lot of friends. I felt like a massive loner um, all the way through high school, really where I wasn't invited to a lot of parties, I wasn't invited to a lot of activities, uh, I was really insecure with myself. I would associate my lack of being able to have a lot of friends and feeling alone to who I was as a person and the stories that I would tell myself. And as I was seeking to connect with others and to make friends, I first really made friends with what I identify as creativity. It was a kind of, it wasn't a person, it wasn't tangible, but I would do creative things to connect with people. So I would create little movies, I would write short stories, I would draw and sketch different comic books when I was little. And that was kind of my, my surrogate friend, so to speak, where I was trying to find connection and a way I found connection was through creativity, was through art. So you may be thinking to yourself, yeah, this is all fine and dandy, I share my stories, I do some Facebook Lives here and there, I do Instagram stories, I share my day, but why do I need to show up and share all these personal sides of me? Like, I don't like to be personal, like it's public, social media is public, being public with my story is really hard. You know, that's great, but also, do you want to make more money? Do you wanna sell better? Do you wanna connect with your customers better? You gotta be more personal, you gotta share personal sides of your own journeys so that way emotionally people will buy from you. And showing up and knowing what to say is actually packaged together in an experience or a process called story therapy. It's a guided process of discovering, listening, asking, and searching for your personal story so that you can understand then how, what, and why you should show up for your customers to sell to them better. So you become a story seller. Thanks for watching this video. I cannot wait to hear your own personal stories all within story therapy. So make sure to click the link below and we'll see you on the next video.